So what's going on dammers, welcome to your fourth Vue.js tutorial in which we're gonna basically look at a fun thing with Vue.js and that is accessing the data members, the members of the data object inside your methods. Well, really it's not really fun, but I'm gonna show you what it is. So let's just say you want to access your message here. Right, so what you're gonna do, traditionally you're gonna think something like Mm, let me just convert it into an arrow function and uh, let's just say this is hello world only so you might be probably thinking something like this and then like this dot data dot message nah probably won't work now what I'm gonna do instead is um, right here say return or actually not return anything let's just console log this here right and one more thing I'm just gonna create other method here and it's going to be an arrow function I'm gonna console log this as well right so now if we just go to index.html and call other method as well here and reload this boy not save reload okay Hello world is not a function anymore and why the heck not? Hello world is not a function. Hell hell world it is. Alright. Now let's see the interesting stuff happening here. The first one you see is a proxied this of the view object itself now again as I told in the prerequisites of the introduction video that I really expect you people to know a little bit about JavaScript intermediate would help advanced would be great so that you can actually understand what's happening under the hood now this is under the hood things of Vue.js it might interest you it might not now if it really interest you then you should really check out JavaScript first if it does not it's kind of okay because you do not need to really know these things to actually get a grasp of Vue.js but it's always good to know what's happening under the hood behind your scenes right so what's what we're seeing what we are seeing here is quite interesting stuff when I call hello world like this and I console log this you see we get a proxied Vue.js method which contains our message property right here and all the methods as well so what view does under the scene is when you create a normal method when you create a normal function your this is proxied your call to this function is proxied to contain this as all the methods and the elements now this would be probably done by view for example when you're calling hello world method so what view does is that you're calling method dot call and then what that view does is pass like um, your members like data members and data methods this is just a very rough code of what you might do and your arguments obviously whatever arguments you pass in here right so this is what you might do under the hood the people who understand you know calling and the scope of this would really get it and would really enjoy it I believe but anyway when we do a simple arrow function call where this is binded lexically that means it's bind to where it is called we get a regular window object which is expected so um, that's basically it for this video I guess if it if you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one. Wait. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to become awesome by going at codedam.com and learning various different things among a community of developers. This video will end in one second. Good luck.